Look at the show. It's wondering if any wide receivers want to go to the Patriots. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, Open you for business. You were telling us how good Jalen Polk was. He is good. You, in we college. Could, he, could, he could use a mentor. Yeah. <laughs> we start with Devontae Adams is a New York Jet. Aaron Rodgers reuniting with one of his favorite players on the day after Rodgers ended Monday Night Football with an interception of Mike Williams, who now might also be traded. Uh, details, Jets take on Devontae's salary and send a conditional third that could become a second to Las Vegas. Here's how the duo has fared historically. Uh, it turns out they're awesome together. Only Montana to race next. Well, that would be good. Yeah, in 2024, it wouldn't be. Well, if, if Jerry Rice all of a sudden was with <laughs> Montana's <laughs> Chiefs, I would say, you know what? That was I mean, only three years I, ago. Okay. I mean, okay, a lot was only three years ago. Aaron Rodgers was good three years ago. They, they I mean, it's but go, go ahead. That's a reaction. There's I mean, I just, I, listen, first of all, once again, Aaron Rodgers proves to be just a totally straight shooter. I was talking about playing golf with Devontae, and I have no power around here. Got it. Check, check. Glad we got those <laughs> things squared away. Um, This doesn't move the needle. What? I watched the Jets last night, Brew. I know you did, too. When the ball is out in under two seconds, they can look crisp. They can look sharp. If it's boom, boom, out. Boom, boom, out. But the moment there's a drop, the moment they get behind the sticks, the moment they have a running back not hit a hole and they're in second and eight and then third and eight, the drives die. Devontae's not fixing that. He'll help it marginally, but he's not fixing it. The moment they're in must-pass, pick-up, real yardage situation, they're cooked. Mm. Which is why they had one drive last night. Real drive scored a touchdown. They, all, they, they scored two touchdowns. One was on a Hail Mary. Hail Mary right. And, I mean, Sean McDermott and his infinite wisdom is like, this guy can't deal with the blitz, yeah. can't move. What if we send two guys at the greatest Hail Mary yeah, quarterback of all time? See what happens. <laughs> I, I, the, I, am an, I am annoyed by the media's credulousness when it comes to this football team. I was annoyed by, and Dust, if we can run through the headlines, the, oh, my God. Mike Williams was the missing that piece. That was mostly Brew. Oh, no. Jets signing Mike Williams in major free I read agency. It in the post. Splash. <laughs> and it wasn't just the post. It was our friends at Sports Illustrated. Mike Williams is the best available free agent. By who? <laughs> People that didn't have Sunday Grant ticket Cone? the last few Grant years? Cone no, Cone? that next one <laughs> is the Mike Williams key addition for Win Now Jets. Well, guess what? Mike Williams now is going to be looking for a new home. Yeah. Maybe. Because, no, definitely. Oh. Mike Williams is okay. off the Jets. He's not officially off the Jets yet, huh. but he's definitively off the Jets. And, Brew, 25 days ago, the New York Jets, Aaron Rodgers was telling us, now is when we learn to dominate. Yeah. 25 days ago. 16 days ago, they lost 10-9 to to the Broncos, and they literally blamed it on the rain. They are like, yeah, the conditions were tough. Nine days ago, they lost to Minnesota and fired the coach. Yesterday, they lose to the Buffalo Bills and they snap trade for Devontae Adams. They're not good. And they're not a soon-to-be 32-year-old receiver with a gimpy hamstring away from being good. And so, I mean, good. I'm glad Aaron gets to finish his career with a friend. But that is what happened mm. here, in my opinion. They're going to be good. Dismiss all that you oh, just you heard. You can't America. be serious. I'm not saying they're going to win the Super Bowl. I told you from the get-go, even when I picked them to win the division, they're they not a real contender because we know what Aaron Rodgers does in championship games, which is wet the bed, all right, even when he won it years ago. But this is a good move. And, Nick, they should be 3-3 three and three, if not 4-2. and two. Based on what? Based on a field goal kicker being able to make a 32-yarder and a 43-yarder. Last about that? night, they could have won that game. Had They had a touchdown call back by a – Controversial call, holding call. I mean, the guy and they, Hail Mary, bro. And they, the Hail Mary was, I mean, obviously just luck. That's the definition <laughs> yeah. of it, right? But they still were right there with the Bills. I'm not, again, the Bills aren't, they're, they're right there with the Bills. Yeah. And if they make two field goals, there's a good two. I'm not even saying a 50-yarder, which is what cost them against Denver. He should be able to make a 50-yarder. But a 32-yarder? And a 43 Can I yarder. Ask you about the, kicks? the defense is great. It's great. It's it's number two in the league, and it's number seven in points allowed. So, so that's a, a very good defense. Sure. 
And now you add Devontae Adams? I'm Again, I'm just saying it's a good move. So you think they're going to be able to climb out of this and win the division? I think they got a chance. I think they can make the playoffs whether they win the division or not. I mean, again, the AFC, we know there's only a couple of really good teams, and then it's open. Their schedule, Nick, you, put the schedule up. You know the schedule is very weak. Going for Pittsburgh winnable. Patriots winnable. Houston, they're going to lose at some point. They haven't been, like, they looking did lose they awesome. Did the That's a losable last. game. Arizona is winnable. It won't be easy. Indy, Seattle, Miami. Jacksonville, the Re there's not a world beater left on their schedule. But they're all but now. They're they, I'm not saying those are easy too. wins. They're they're all winnable. They're all they. Well, all when you're when Titans. you're a when you're just a, a middling solid, team. yeah, they're losable. But Aaron Rodgers looked pretty good last right. night. He almost had his 300 yard. I know a lot of it was the hail okay. mary, but still, he he looked all right. Garrett Wilson, things are going to open up for him because he's been double teamed most of the this season. And Devontae, how's it insane? Because of the, we just the, what, there, there are a couple of bad missed field goals away from being at least five hundred. Because this first is what the, the Jets, the Jets fans told me as well, the kicker thing. So, but we do understand that last night the other team's kicker was just as bad. So it, well, and he in the, missed the, the, he, what, missed the one? extra point and a field goal. That's not so just last as bad. night, last That's night, four point okay. So six. you're right, you're right. So let's give the Jets six more and Buffalo four more, and the Bills still win. And the if, game, okay, even the if the game, Bills the win, game, that's a the Bills are the, a playoff the, team. The game against it's Denver, a tough game. the game against Denver, the Broncos kicker missed a kick, and then the Jets kicker missed a kick. The Jets fans are doing this thing where it's all field goal kickers' fault. But the other team's field goal kicker still is going to be bad. Mm. Like, that's – it's just – I I don't know right now how anyone can watch the Jets through six weeks and look at a schedule and other than – sorry, Wilds, the Patriots well, game. Short week. Be like, <laughs> I'd be surprised if they lost. Well, I, I didn't so, say you'd be surprised if they lost. I'm saying a lot of those games are winnable, and I think the Jets are better than a lot of those teams on their schedule. Just to bring it back to Devonte, here's why I think it's going to be good. I, I have been – Sounding the alarm that Aaron Rodgers hasn't thrown for 300 yards in 28 games. Are we at 28 or 29 games, Josh? I think it might be, that might have been 29. It's 20 some. Uh, yeah. But we had the same conversation when Aaron Rodgers brought in Alan Lazard. And we were like, Alan Lazard? It's like. He's looking he, great. He's amazing. <laughs> He has five <laughs> touchdowns. No one in the league has more than five touchdowns. Wow. Justin Jefferson's got four touchdowns. He's got five. Tyrod threw him one. That's why there's only four there. When he's targeting Alan Lazard, his passer rating's 120. In chemistry and trust, we know Aaron is a little hesitant to spread it around. This pass last night, I don't think he's throwing it to anyone else. <laughs> This is an amazing – it's either lucky or amazing. Cool. That was incredible. Yeah. But a part of it is he has the guts to throw it because he trusts – he won't trust other guys wide open. And he's trusting Lazard. And Lazard is not – I don't, want to, I don't want to have to dim Alan Lazard's. He's a great number player. three receiver. He's, he's pretty good, and Devontae Adams is great. So if he's made Lazard the league leader in touchdowns, what's Devontae going to do all of a sudden? Yeah, so I, so that's one that's of the reasons point. why I don't think all of a sudden this is going to be great for Garrett Wilson. Because, as you said, you're like, oh, now Garrett's not going to be doubled as much. I just – can we show the, the team – the Jets haven't scored 25 points yet this year. I don't look at the Jets right now, and we can show the list of teams that have done that. Patriots, offense stinks. Yeah. The Dolphins, offense it, it went away when Tua went away. The Browns, as you mentioned yesterday, Barnwell wrote an opus. So they got the worst quarterback play oh, yeah. we've seen in modern <laughs> NFL history. And the Jets. We, the, but what's the, so solution, what better what's the way remedy to, for that? To, to no. solve, I don't know, no, solve I think But this, what better way to improve no, it than go and get this, a great I think receiver. adding a soon-to-be 32-year-old currently slightly injured receiver who is a great player will marginally help them but they are they're not the point i'm making is they're not close we saw them play the niners who's close they got, in the AFC? they got well, hold on they got Couple last teams? i think buffalo is not close a tier one contender and better than the jets well last I, night they were a few points better 
Yeah, it, okay. through almost all of these game. games are close. But it was a good game that the Jets could have won. You act like they're miles no, away no, from the Buffalo no, Bills. I act like that game was headed to blowout territory and the Jets hit a Hail Mary and they still lost. They, they still That's what I act It still like. wasn't necessarily I, headed to blowout I, the, territory. I mean, it was 20 to 10 at halftime and Rodgers seemed beside himself. It was, it was not headed in the right direction. They hit a Hail Mary and they still couldn't win. I, the Jets played the Niners and got blasted. They played the Titans and played the Titans. It was as good as uh, close of a game as the Titans have played except for one game all year. They blast the, the Patriots. Credit, yeah, yeah, exactly the right. Titans. Credit to them. They then th lose to Denver. They then get down 17-0 to Minnesota, and they lose to Buffalo. Yeah. And when but Buffalo's they got down 17 nothing to Minnesota, but they lost by six. Yeah. I mean, they well, came back and made it a good team again, uh, game against a team that's playing some of the best ball in the league. Yeah, I don't – I think most – I mean, you give the Cowboys a lot of credit for coming back against the Ravens. I, I thought they came back against the Vikings. No, I just – I think most games in the NFL aren't blowouts. I think that, like, this idea of, like, oh, it's a couple plays oh, – 80% of the games are one-score games. All right, so we – go ahead. Sorry, we're getting back into the Vikings game. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about now last night's game. From the future of the Jets uh, to last the pass of the Jets, Jets scored 20, score one touchdown, four red zone trips. They miss two field goals. They get penalized for 110 yards, and Rodgers ends the game with an interception uh, to Mike Williams. That was explained in detail here. Bro. <laughs> I got to be honest, this morning when I saw that, I was bothered by it. I was like, this is the same old Aaron Rodgers You've throwing his receivers under the bus and not taking accountability. Now that they've got Devontae Adams, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Mike Williams, as you said, is about to be gone, okay? <laughs> Aaron Rodgers is, we know what Aaron Rodgers is. They knew what he, this has been his career, throwing receivers under the bus, not taking accountability. So the Jets knew that when he walked in the door. What a take. I'm serious. I don't care you, now. You think he Now can... I think it's like, first of all, he, now he said on the McAfee show he didn't find out about the trade till afterwards, but he obviously <laughs> knew it must have been a great chance for it, it to happen. Yeah. So he may have known, he may be 85% sure at that point that I'm about to get my man. I'm about to get Devontae out. I mean, I can't. So, so I don't, I do not. Make Williams yeah, on so the way out. It's, because it's, he doesn't look, want to be blamed. You know what it is? I, it's, you know no, what it is? Because he's a bad guy. That's fine. I don't care. I don't need a choir boy. I need somebody to win games. No, can't do I, I'm you serious. And I'm, I'm just, what I'm saying is <laughs> I think what he did, what he's doing is holding people accountable. Except Again, for himself. Well, I think he's admitted sometimes when he's played poorly. What about okay. that? Wasn't the whole press conference. No. If you watch the whole no, press what, conference, okay. he admitted he wasn't, you know, yeah. prime Aaron Rodgers. I mean, I just. Can't but my point is, I think this is putting people on notice. Aaron Rodgers is ticked off. Aaron Rodgers didn't come here to be two and four. Aaron Rodgers didn't come here to have better. a worse record so than Zach was right. He needs to play better. And I think now everybody is on notice. So, okay. like I, mean, I said, I, I, is, is, is he? It, we know he's done this before. I don't like it, I, but I'm not riled up out of, about okay. this. I, I mean, but now like, I but got like you said, Adams. you were this morning. Yeah, I, I, right. I, when this was going to be the squad, this ain't the squad no more. <laughs> now you got Devontae Adams. Okay. And Garrett Wilson moves down to two. And Alex, Alex Lazard to three. No, I, and way, Mike Garrett might be Wilson, out of the door. Garrett Wilson probably moves down to three. He actually seven. leads the league in freaking targets. He's going to get his I, targets. I understand. I, I'm just telling you that I think that Rodgers is going to look for Devontae and Lazard yeah. first and back. foremost. Why? Yeah. Why has he been looking for Wilson now? Well, he, he looked for him 22 times in the Vikings game. Right. So I, it, what, but, again, I just just my opinion on what he's going to do, bro. I Just a guy that <laughs> I – we all, the, the idea – that this is a way to pull a team from the abyss is this leadership style is just asinine. And here's the most, the biggest indictment I can say about Aaron Rodgers at this point, the player and the leader. He is the anti Patrick Mahomes. He is. Mahomes gets the ball down less than a score with a reasonable amount of time remaining. The chiefs, are going to win. Rodgers gets the ball down one to the Broncos mm -hmm. after the Broncos miss a field goal. They have first and 10 on the Denver 36 with more than a minute left. 
He can get them four more measly yards sure. in that terrible weather. They and missed the blame, field goal. And then blame the kicker. And then blame the kicker. Don't get close. Like, not 20 he, yard blame the shots. kicker. Yeah. Blame, the, blame the weather. Against Minnesota, they fall down 17 nothing thanks to his play. He gets the ball down six. They get the ball to the Minnesota 26. Incomplete, incomplete pick to Mike Williams. Sure, that's not Aaron's fault. Williams just went the wrong way. They get the ball against Buffalo. Down three. Let's not forget, that game should have been over because Aaron fumbled on the first play of the drive. I saw it. Troy Aikman right. saw it. The old guy who used to do the, the former guy, not old guy, but the guy who used to do the Monday Night Football refereeing stuff who now works for the Bills. We all saw it. For some reason, New York didn't see it. They get another chance. Aaron Rodgers has Brees Hall open. Aaron Rodgers' own explanation is, I realized Mike Williams wasn't where he needed to be. There's two minutes left in this football game. It's third down. So I threw a no look anyway instead of uh, Brees Hall's right there and then blame Mike Williams. So he doesn't come through when they need him. Mm -hmm. That's the uh, anti-Mahomes. career. And right, then I've also throws the other guys under the bus. I watched Mahomes last year basically hand a 50-yard pass to MVS. Sure. Hits him in the hands. He drops it. You know what he said? Shouldn't have thrown it that far. Shouldn't have thrown it that far. Aaron, Aaron, he's not Mahomes. Aaron no, says I, he's the opposite. Not, nobody's Mahomes, but he's the opposite of it. He's not coming through in the big spots, and he's blaming the coach. He's blaming the weather. He's blaming his teammates, which is why, Brew, I'm so down. I know this is why I'm so surprised. I wasn't trying to be rude no, to no, you. No, 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 no. But I, I know you think leadership matters well, at that position. I'm going to address that. I'm talking about that press conference, that comment. I don't care. Mike Williams is about to be gone. Mike Williams has not played well. Neither is Aaron Rodgers. But you're gone. I got my guy in. I don't, I'm not worried about that episode. I totally agree. And you guys know. Like I said, I don't think they would, could get to the Super Bowl even when everybody was high on them because Rodgers does play poorly in championship games. But this is why, and everybody wonders, they look at Aaron Rodgers and say he's one of the most talented quarterbacks we've ever seen. And mm. he is. All right? And he's been one of the best. Why has he only been to one Super Bowl in, what, 14, 15 yep. healthy seasons as a starter? What you just said, it's not only the lack of, you know I'm big on intangibles. Montana, Brady, and Peyton Manning, and Mahomes have tremendous intangibles. Leadership, galvanizing the locker room, taking accountability, all that. You know what else, though? I, I'm going to say a lack of ego. They have egos. But only we only know they have egos because they're so great and they're so competitive. But Aaron Rodgers, when you think about him, the first thing you think is ego, is is he's you know uh, yeah. arrogance and stuff. You don't think that about those other quarterbacks I mentioned, and that's an intangible that he lacks. And again, I'm not saying they're about to go to the Super Bowl, but they can make the playoffs. They can have a decent season, and so I think that's what will happen now that he's back with Devontae Adams. But I agree with you on a lot of his, you know, I, I, personality and stuff. I but it don't, don't mean you can't win. No, uh, yeah. I just I think that when you have fired the coach, when you've thrown teammates under the bus, when you have, when everyone from the outside and the inside knows you are you are the puppet master here, and you make the most money and you take the least accountability, and your team's up against it in this sport, that is a recipe for implosion, not a recipe for we're going to win eight of our next 11, which is what they got to do. Like, they have to win a minimum of eight of their next 11 games, which the New York Jets have not done in a decade. And so I just, I just don't buy it, and I don't think that – he is going to be the guy to pull him through. What I'm curious about is who's the next person who gets thrown under the bus? Probably Zerline. Like, I would imagine the kicker soon. And then at some point, like, I, I think Joe Douglas is the guy. But, like, it'll it'll be everyone in the organization next other than up. Aaron. Next it'll be man, next, next, man, up next to get man to get thrown well, under the bus you know what up. Zerline can do? Make the kick. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.